has four legs, two eyes and one mouth. Look, it flopped into the water. Two frogs have eight legs, four eyes and two mouths. Plump, plump, they flopped into the water. Now, let's make a frog. Take a sheet of square colored paper, a pair of eyes or a pen. Fold the paper in half by folding the top side over to the bottom into a rectangle. Fold the lower right corner to the upside, creating a sharp point on the top right corner. Then unfold it. Fold the upper right corner to the downside. Then unfold it. Repeat this on the other side. Here are two creases. Push the center and fold them together to form a triangle. Repeat the same step on the other side and it looks like this. Take the two corners of the triangle and fold them to meet at the top center. Repeat this on the other side. Fold the small triangle diagonally down. And both sides look like this after that. Repeat it on the other half. Fold diagonally down again. After that, flip it over and fold up the bottom. Fold the left and right sides up. Can you see the shape of a frog now? There are only two steps left. Fold the frog legs up. Turn it over and fold the bottom of the frog up. Press it hard. OK, here it is. At last, paste a pair of eyes. Or draw a pair of eyes on it. Boys and girls, can you do it now? Isn't it? Now, fold one with me. Take a piece of colored paper in square, a piece of colored paper in rectangle, a pair of eyes, and glue stick for the eyes. Fold paper in half by folding the bottom corner to the top corner. Press hard and unfold. Do the same to the other two corners. We can see a cross crease. Let's fold a corner to the center of the crease. Remember to fold three corners. All right, let's flip it. Fold the lower right corner up to the center. 
fold up on this side too. Flip it again. Fold the bottom corner to the center. Then fold edges on both sides to the center crease. Now we are going to fold the fox's ears. Look at this part on the back side. Press it up. Look, one ear is done. Let's do the other one. Again, press it upward. Boys and girls, can you see the shape of a fox? But for now, its mouth won't open. We're gonna make a strip to pull the fox's mouth. Keep folding the rectangular colored paper until it becomes a strip. Then fold one end of the strip down a small piece. Next, open the fox's mouth. Put the strip inside it. Wow! The fox's mouth can open now. In the end, stick a pair of eyes for it. Or draw a pair of eyes. The singing fox is done. Johnny, Johnny, yes, Papa. Eating sugar, no, Papa. Telling lies, no, Papa. Open your mouth. Butterflies are so beautiful. They both have two wings and floral dresses. They fly east and fly west, and they play games happily. Boys and girls, let's fold the butterfly together. We need a piece of square colored paper, paint, and paintbrush. Then align the lower corner and the upper corner, then flatten it. Then align and flatten the two corners. Now fold it from top to bottom again. Turn it into a rectangle. There are some obvious creases here. We do the other half in the same way. Look, it turns into a triangle. Next, fold the right corner up and align with this corner. The left part follows the same steps. OK, flip it upside down. Pick it up here, fold up. It should be noted that this part sticks out, then flatten it down. Reverse again, fold the butterfly wings in half. Then press the middle part. Reopen it again. Look, the butterfly is done! Oh, my butterfly is not beautiful enough! I want to dress it with beautiful clothes. I put some purple on the tip of the wings first. Then I use yellow to draw some dots. Then a few orange dots. Now we are done! Boys and girls, it's your turn! The 
The butterflies are so beautiful. They both have two wings and floral dresses. They fly east and fly west, and they play games happily. We had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb. His fleece was white as snow. How cute the fluffy sheep is! My friends. Let's make the cotton ball sheep together. First, the materials are a sheet of construction paper, some white cotton balls, glue, as well as color pens. Let's draw the body of the sheep first. Its body is chubby, so let's draw a big oval. Then draw four legs. Look, my sheep is running. Then draw a small smiley head. Then draw ears. Wow, we can see the outline of a sheep. Now let's add wool. First. Coat glue all over the sheep and stick cotton balls on it. After tearing cotton into small strips and roll up randomly. Repeat tearing, rolling, and sticking. It is very easy. We stick them closely until the sheep's body is all covered. Wow! The sheep looks fluffy and soft. Remember to cover the black outline we drew just now. Okay, the sheep's body is finished. Now pick up a bigger cotton ball to make a tail of the sheep. Don't forget to stick fluffy cotton on its head. The last step is to draw the face of the sheep. All done. Surprise! Paint a creative starry sky. First, the materials are a sheet of black construction paper, paints in several different colors, glitter powder, and a block of sponge, or the sponge your mom uses to wash dishes, as well as a used toothbrush. Dip the sponge into the darkest blue paint. Only a little bit. Now stamp on the construction paper with the sponge. Look, you can see some clouds in the night sky. Then stamp on the paper as you wish. Okay, now take another block of sponge and stamp purple clouds. Wow, more and more stars are shining in the sky now. Let's stamp in all different colors, from the darkest to the lightest. Now, let's draw some scattering stars. Dip some white paint with the brush. Then slightly 
flick the brush. Wow! So many little stars! Now let's scatter some bling glitter powder to make the starry sky shiny. Let's be creative to decorate the starry sky. I'm gonna draw some colorful planets. Boys and girls, you can use your fingers to draw as well. Wow, this is my colorful universe and then stick some star-shaped tags on it. and fold a paper crane with me. Fold the bottom corner of the paper up to the top corner. Crease and open again. Then fold the paper in half sideways. Fold the paper in half. Crease well and open. And then fold again in the other direction. Open it and then fold the two sides in along the marks to form a square. Fold top triangular flops into the center from the opening part and unfold. And then fold again in the other direction. Open model after creasing. And then fold inwards along the creases. Fold all four edges like this. Fold top of model downwards along this line and fold inwards. Repeat on the other side. And fold upwards along the middle line. Next, we'll fold the wings. Fold upwards from here. While folding in the opposite direction on the other side. Make sure the two wings are separated from each other. Now, let's fold the head and tail like this. Inside reverse. Fold one side to make a head. Wow! At last, draw the eyes. A 
flying paper crane is finished. Surprise! <laughs> it will fly up after you slightly pull the tail. You may fold with colourful paper in different sizes, make some decorations and draw some pictures. Boys and girls, can you do it now? Paper cranes are flying from the east to the west, flapping over and over into the beautiful clouds. Thank you. 